In this video, we will look at action potential. Action potential refers to membrane potential of an axon when conducting an impulse. The axon is in depolarized state. When there is stimulus present, inside axon will become less negative compared to resting potential. This is known as depolarization. When the membrane potential value reach positive 35 millivolt, action potential is generated. Propagation of action potential is the transmission of impulse along action. The propagation of action potential can be divided into five phases, which are resting potential, depolarization or threshold, depolarization or rising phase of action potential, repolarization or falling phase of action potential, and hyperpolarization or undershoot. Before we look at the process in propagation of action potential, we will look at the pathway of sodium and potassium ion across the action membrane. The movement of this ion are through voltage gated channel and non voltage gated channel. Non voltage gated channel includes sodium channel, potassium channel, and sodium potassium pump, and these are only active during resting potential or when there is no transmission of impulse. Voltage gated channels such as voltage gated sodium channel and voltage-gated potassium channel are only active during impulse transmission or when stimulus is present. During resting potential, both voltage-gated channel are closed. Inside axon is more negative than outside axon. This is maintained by sodium-potassium pump and diffusion of more potassium ion out and less sodium ion in. During this step, action is polarized. When stimulus is present, all non-voltage gated channels are inactive or closed. Some voltage gated sodium channels are open. Since concentration of sodium ion is higher outside the action, sodium will diffuse into the action down concentration gradient. At this point, voltage-gated potassium channel will remain closed. The movement of sodium into the axon will cause the inside of the axon to become less negative. The membrane is depolarized. If depolarization reach threshold level with membrane potential of negative 55 millivolt, action potential will be generated. If depolarization does not reach this threshold level, no action potential will be generated. Depolarization of the membrane causes more voltage gated sodium channel to open and more sodium ion will enter the axon. Inside axon will become more positive. Action potential is achieved when membrane potential reach positive 35 mV. At the peak of action potential, voltage-gated sodium channel will close and voltage-gated potassium channel will open. Since concentration of potassium ion are higher inside the axon, potassium will move out of axon down concentration gradient. The inside of the axon will become more negative and the axon membrane is repolarized. Some voltage-gated potassium channel are slow to close, causing excess potassium ion to diffuse out of the axon. This causes the membrane potential to become more negative than resting potential. The membrane is hyperpolarized or undershoot. When both voltage-gated channel are closed, non-voltage-gated channel will open and membrane potential will return to resting potential. Okay, as overview, in resting potential, all non-voltage gated channels are active and inside action is more negative. 
the membrane potential is negative 70 mV. Stimulus will cause all non voltage gated channel to close and only voltage gated sodium channel will open. Sodium enter the axon, causing inside axon to become less negative. If depolarization reach negative 55 mV, more voltage gated sodium channel will open to allow more sodium to enter the exit. At positive 35 mV, action potential are achieved. Voltage gated sodium channel will close and voltage gated potassium channel will open. Potassium will diffuse out and inside action slowly become negative again. Since voltage gated potassium channel are slow to close, this causes excess potassium to diffuse out and the membrane potential fall below resting potential. When voltage gated potassium channel close, non voltage gated channel which are sodium channel, potassium channel and sodium potassium pump will open and return it to resting potential.